seen each other for a while for two weeks for three weeks now i think for two weeks two weeks yes for for three weeks actually we have not met for three weeks now uh, yes actually for three weeks now <clears throat> welcome back today we're going to start a new new lesson which is unit nine it's about energy and i think you've seen some in our previous two yeah, lessons and about about lights and about uses of lights about sources of light and in this lecture um, we'll see about we'll see about heat sources of heat sources of heat right first of all let's define heat what's heat heat just like light is a form of energy right it is what Heat is a form of energy. It's a form of energy. So there are, there are different types, uh, different forms of energy. We have heat energy, we have light energy, we have electrical energy, we have chemical energy, which is in the food we eat, and in the carburetors, and of mechanical energy that is pent up in our muscles and with potential energy like elastic potential energy possessed by for example if you stretch an elastic band elastic band if you stretch it that's it has it has, it has energy or um r1 pole if you stretch it it has, it, has, it, has, it has energy. It's called elastic potential energy. If you throw a stone up to the sky before it uh, begins to fall down, it has energy. It's called uh, gravitational potential energy, right? So these are different forms of energy. So we learned about light. You learned about the sources of light. You learned about uh, the uses of light. You learned about um, uh, the natural sources of light, the artificial sources of light. Uh, you know, you know, you, you learned it. And today we're going to start heat. So it's 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 a form of energy by definition. Heat is a form of energy, right? Heat's a form of energy. When it is sunny. Uh, and these days, in most of the days, it's it's sunny and it's quite hot. People wear light clothes. Huh? Yes, we don't we don't put on uh, coats and blows or pullover and jackets. We don't wear these heavy things, you know, because it's hot, right? The sun produces heat. Why is why why it, why is it hot? Because the sun produces heat, right? Which is a form of energy. On a cold day, on a cold day, when it's very cold, yes, two months back it was very cold, right? January in December, late November, early February. It was very cold, and we used it to put on sweaters and jackets, right? With the hoodie, right? Because it was very cold. Uh, what do we do? People sit near a fire or a heater to keep themselves warm. Why do we sit near a fire or near a heater? Right? To keep ourselves warm. Okay, the fire or the heater produces heat, which is a form of energy. That hand, that energy produced by the fire or by the heater uh, is, is a form of energy, right? 
So virtue, it helps us become warm, right? So it's a form of energy. So generally, all these, the sun, the heat, the fire, all these are sources of what? All these are sources of heat. The sun is a source of heat. And the fire or the heater, right? These are what? These are sources of these are these are sources of heat, right? These are sources of heat. So the sun, these are sources of heat. So the following are sources of heat. Sun, fire gas cooker, electricity, and others, many others, are sources of heat. These are sources of heat, right? These are sources of heat. Fire is a source of heat. That's why we cook on it. We are cooking tea. We use, you know, firewood or charcoal, right? Gas cookers, like this, some gas, electricity. Mm -hmm. And others are sources of heat, right? When we have a heat, we use it in different ways. When we have heat, we use it in different ways. We use the heat for the following reasons. Number one, we use the heat for the following reasons. Number one, cooking. When we want to cook, we use what? Heat. Yes, we use heat for cooking. Number two, warming. To keep ourselves warm and our rooms warm, our homes warm, we use heat, either from the fire or from the heater, whatever. Iron, ironing, ironing. For example, if you want to iron your clothes, when you want to make it very to look to look it very good, you iron your clothes, your school uniform, your other clothes. You keep them ironing them whenever you wash them, right? So that it looks nice. So the iron uses what? The iron uses what? Heat, right? Electric electricity and sometimes fire. There are some very traditional and old irons that use that use what? Charcoal, yeah. Drying. To dry our clothes. Yes. To dry our clothes. You put them on the wardrobe, right? And outside, right? We expose it to the sun. So when the sun falls on them, it makes it dry. It makes it dry. So, you know, we use, diff we use heat for this floor. For these reasons, cooking in order to cook, we need heat. Warming to keep ourselves and our homes and rooms warm, we need heat. Ironing to iron our clothes, we need heat. To dry our clothes and our body, we need what? Heat. Yes, heat. So these are the different uses of heat. Let's say again. So sources of heat. What's heat first? Heat is a form of energy. When it is sunny, people wear light clothes because it's hot. Sorry. So heat's a form of energy. When it's sunny, people wear light clothes because it's hot. 
the sun produces heat on a cold day people sit near fire or heater to keep themselves warm therefore fire or heater produces heat right produces heat so these are the sources of heat so sources of heat are fire gas cooker electricity others right others uses of heat we use heat for the following reasons cooking warming ironing drying and and others thank you very much thank you very much thank you very much it was very